concentration at last and what a reception this fight gets there hasn't been atmosphere at Wembley like this for many years and at once you can see just how much height and reach Sibson the European champion is having to concede and Sibson must feel almost as though he's in a foreign country it sounds to me like 90 percent of this Wembley crowd is on Kayla's side. Kayla, British and Commonwealth champion, white trunks. The three titles these men hold between them are all at stake tonight. It's winner take all. Kayla's reach and undoubted skill against Simpson's raw hooking aggression and undoubted punch. Well, he may feel as though he's in a strange land tonight, Simpson, but nonetheless, the bookmakers, who concede nothing to sentiment, have made Simpson a slight favourite. Good hooks from Simpson. He got inside the reach and he used the hooks well with the left. And he out jabs Kayla. Simpson with almost twice as many pro fights as Kayla. 10 major title fights behind him and this is only the second that Kayla's had and all that singing is for Mark Kayla at the moment Kayla's being beaten to the punch Little between them in weight. Simpson 11, five and a half. Kayla, four ounces heavier. Lively opener. The first of a scheduled 12 rounds. And maybe the edge with Simpson. Simpson only 26 and yet he's been around a long time he had his first pro fight on his 18th birthday and now he's had 56 pro fights and 50 of them have been wins and he's been in for the world title with Marvin Hagler. Tons of experience and tons of courage. That's Simpson. He came in with a couple of beautiful left hooks early on in that first round. There's the first and I think he, yes, he followed up with one to the stomach. trunks a left elbow injury caused uh, for Simpson caused postponement of this fight earlier in the year Simpson in fact hasn't boxed since February and it's 21 months since he fought Hagler Taylor's had 29 fights 27 wins Simpson's left hand is very quick. Well, at last, the Simpson supporters make themselves heard. At 
left hook of Simpson is a potent punch. This could be a key punch in this fight. Taylor's been made to breathe hard by that. Simpson knows full well the defeat here could mean the end of the road. He wouldn't be too keen to go on without a title. He hasn't always trained as well as he might in the past, but I think this time Simpson has really worked hard. Good right from Taylor. This is certainly the most uh, eagerly awaited domestic fight for a long time in this country. And this is the top division in the country at the moment, the middleweights. Two good men here, and behind them, men like Harold Graham and Errol Christie and Jimmy Price, all waiting their chance. And Kayla hanging on there. The action is furious already in the second round. Simpson's nose is bleeding. He's ripping the hooks in. Now then, can Kayla withstand this storm? He's under the sort of pressure that Buster Drayton put him under when Drayton beat him. And to everybody's disappointment, except perhaps the fighters, the bell ends that furious second round. And both men felt it there. What a set to they had in the last 30 seconds of that. Kayla, for a moment, looking very disturbed. He took one or two sharp punches. Here's the action again. Simpson going in with these short, ripping, hooking punches. And he really had Kayla in some problems there. But Simpson didn't come out unscathed either. He's got some blood coming from his nose. So he's been hurt, and this is proving to be the fight we hoped it would be. That nose could be troublesome for Simpson. They've had trouble stopping the blood. That might affect his breathing. trying to control this with the left jab and he knows now that he must keep Simpson out and stop him ripping those hooks in has all the makings of a fight we should talk about for a long time. They've taken no time to warm up. They've gone straight at it. And this Wembley, absolutely packed for the first time in many years. Not a spare seat. Taylor giving Simpson some trouble now. Simpson looking all around him, outside the rings. The country boy versus the cockney.
Simpson relying almost entirely on that left hook. And Kaylor taking these early punches well. Good right hand inside from Kaylor. The battle swaying first one way, then the other. Slight cut underneath the left eye of Simpson. Very slight, but it's there. So Kayla's punches have brought their reward. The bleeding nose, and now the cut underneath the left eye, which Denny Mancini gets to work on. It's hardly noticeable, and it's not in a dangerous place. So the corner won't be too worried about that. But it does show that Kayla is getting the damaging punches through. their stools and ready before the bell. Kayla, the taller of these two men with the longer reach. Simpson is only five feet eight. Kayla had his first pro fight in October 1980, four and a half years after Simpson had his. The ferocity of this uh, punching inside is really quite something. They're both fighting, knowing there's not much future for the loser. Well, Kayla has not been overwhelmed in the early rounds the way he was against Buster Drayton. suggest at the stage now the odds slightly less in favor of Simpson than they were at the start. European Boxing Union rules but the referee and the two judges all British the compulsory eight count rule is enforced for this Simpson when he gets within range is a demon But in order to get past the long left of Kayla, he's had to take those punches that have damaged his face. This has not been a lucky arena for Kayla. His two professional defeats, the disqualification against Serda, and the stoppage against Drayton, both happened in this ring.
three titles at stake. European belonging to Simpson, British and Commonwealth belonging to Kayla. And in his time, Simpson has held all three. A man of tremendous championship experience. Good punches by Simpson. The jolting left hand again. Simpson's face the more marked. We're only in the fifth. Kayla not quite as crisp. has been the first to lead in this round where the action for the first time has become a little ragged this fight is going to earn it almost demented at times Simpson um, absolutely determined to win this fight and furious action all the way. Another little mark appearing there by the left eye of Simpson. He's the one who's showing the signs of damage, and yet he may be a little ahead. Well, this is typical of the fast and furious action we've had all the way through this fight. Kalos had a minor operation on his right hand to cure some trouble there in recent months. And he told me that Simpson will be feeling the full weight of that tonight. I don't think Simpson has yet felt the full weight of Kalos' right hand. Most of Mark's work has been done with the left. There's a long way to go yet. typical burst of action that Simpson puts in every now and again. Like a threshing machine gone berserk. But Kayla's there. He's survived all these sudden attacks. Another good 
attack by Simpson. Simpson again, a little bit high up, and Kayla has to hold on. Simpson's nose bleeding again. Hard fight. <laughs> Kayla under real pressure now. The best round Simpson's had. But he hasn't put Kayla down. Overwhelmingly Simpson in that round. Well, that was more like the old Simpson of about three or four years ago, and Kayla felt the full weight of the attacks there. So there's bound to be just a little concern in that corner now, as we move into the second half. Well, Simpson was really aggressive in that round, and there wasn't too much Kayla could do about it. Others' fights had more ink spilled on it than uh, most British fights in recent years. And it's lived up to all the words that were printed. What a change it was outside Wembley tonight to hear the touts asking if anybody had a ticket to spare rather than asking if anybody wanted one. And Simpson is putting Kayla under a good deal of pressure now. He's moving in, hooking hard, getting inside. Kayla can't keep him out. And as long as Kayla can't keep him out, then Mark is in some trouble. He's got to keep him out with the left hand. Simpson yelled something. I think maybe the head rubbed into his eyes and he didn't like it. And he complained to Kayla. Kayla's falling into clinches more and more often. His last two rounds haven't been good rounds for him. He's lost control. Needs something good now to come back with. Well, 
Well, Tony Simpson, he's done some work in this fight. Good, professional, workmanlike fighter from just outside Leicester, a country boy who comes to town every now and again and really puts on a show for us. Sitting in this audience tonight, in this packed Wembley Arena, two former world middleweight champions from this country, Alan Minter, whom Simpson beat, of course, and Terry Downs of an earlier vintage, and also here, the former great world heavyweight champion, Joe Frazier. But if he goes the distance, we'll go 12 rounds. And again, that short, sharp burst inside from this thick-set, aggressive country boy. Worries Kayla. Kayla not getting enough of his own good punches across. You don't feel that at any time has he really hurt Simpson, apart from the superficial damage on Simpson's face. But we're moving on now into the later stages, and at this stage of an important title fight, it comes down in the end to stamina and determination. Perhaps that above all. Simpson now picking off Kayla from some distance. Simpson's had one really very good round, the sixth. The other rounds have all been fairly close. But at this stage, you must have Simpson a little way ahead. Gibson still relying on the short, not sustained, bursts of aggression from inside. The shorter man has to work inside. You know you're going to jump up, Peter. Okay. Kayla trying to take control with his long left lead and chancing a right hand there for the first time for some time. He's really let one go from distance. And he needs a few of those now. He's got to hurt Simpson. When you remember how Marvin Hagler put Tony Simpson in the mincing machine, you realize just how good Hagler is.
Taylor. White face now, compared with Simpson. Four times he picked the man off. And yet he's got, by a long way, the shorter reach. was a good left hook from Taylor. And that's typical of Tony Simpson. You hurt him, and he responds by coming straight back. And Taylor has found him with one or two in this ninth round. He needed to come back with a few, and he's done it. <laughs> Simpson still full of fight. took one or two there but in the end he came back again full of fight at the finish well Kohler managed to get one or two quite good punches in against Simpson here Simpson presenting a difficult target short anyway and decreasing his height by ducking and nonetheless, Kohler managed to find him with a few good punches. <laughs> Simpson has come out for this round, fired up. He's had a right old pep talk in the corner. I've got him ahead. Maybe his corner aren't as uh, sure about it as all that. I would have thought Kaylor now had dropped some way behind. Beginning to look as though it might well go the full 12. over these last three rounds, it might well all come down to strength and willpower, as these sort of fights tend to in the end. It's still the fighter against the boxer. The fighter is Simpson. And the fighter, for my money at the moment, has got the better of it. Right. 
No knockdowns at any stage. Hard bruising. Well, this is further than Kayla's ever been. Simpson, of course, was around as a pro in those days, not all that far back, when title fights used to be over 15 rounds. And he's been 15 rounds on more than one occasion. So 12 shouldn't worry him too much. But Kayla's never been beyond 10. One of the surprises of this fight, I think, has been that Simpson has actually out-jabbed Kayla from time to time. Generally, thought that he'd have to come right inside like this to do his work because of the reach difference, but in fact, he stood off and picked his man off occasionally with left jabs. But Simpson's best punch has been the left hook. Taylor's right hand hasn't been too much in evidence. And still Simpson hasn't managed to repeat the tremendous sixth round when he really was on top. Simpson seemed to back off and didn't like it. That may well be the best punch Kayla's thrown so far. A right hand. And it looked to me as though it hurt Simpson. So this fight may yet hold some tremendous climax. fans have come to life now. You wonder how much better Kayla might have done if he'd thrown some of these rights earlier. Suddenly walks into all sorts of trouble at the end of the 11. So what a last round we now have in prospect. Simpson on the receiving end with a vengeance. Kalor's right hand has suddenly taken over the fight. But is it too late? Anyway, that right hand of Kalor's has brought them a little closer together. And here's a sample of it. That was a tremendous right uppercut. So now we come to the final three minutes of this triple title fight in which winner takes all in terms of titles. And there's no telling what might happen. The stocky Simpson, the European champion, the taller Kaylor, British and Commonwealth champion, and those three titles now all on the line 
in the next three minutes. And Simpson shows he still has plenty to offer. And this Wembley Arena seething with excitement. It's all or nothing now for the pair of them. Wembley like this for a long time. They put so much in over the previous 11 rounds. now almost unbearable and Kayla spits out his gum shield the perfect climax to a major title fight them very nearly sold out it's all a lot closer than it was earlier and the two of them fall into each other's arms the way two great fighters should at the end of a marvellous fight the referee and two judges now will give their decision well that was the fight we waited a long time to see and it turned out to be a cracker and it is on points after 12 rounds Simpson keeps his European title and he adds the British and Commonwealth titles to it as well Kalo will be bitterly disappointed bitterly disappointed but in no way can he blame himself he put up the most magnificent fight and he deserves a return now middleweight champion of Europe Great Britain and the Commonwealth is Tony Simpson.